All right, so um, we've just done the stand for our magnificent, uh, wonderful uh, surface book to do some art. So I wanted to also then uh, sort of show you some of the cool things that I've uh, uh, set up for it, um, simply because uh, to have it as a drawing tablet, you need it to be stable and having it open like a laptop will not do that. So um, you need to have it in the tablet mode um, so that you can you know, rest your hand on the tablet and not be pushing the spine out and whatnot. Um, so we've got the stand here. It's basically in Cintiq angle. There's of course tons of adjustment that people do and I know so many people that hunch over, you know, but for me, especially with how magnificently tall I am, um, I need the sort of steeper angle um, to draw. So, um, that's so cool. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show you um, is Unified Remote. Um, so what goes on here is that um, it's remote software for your phone or any Android enabled thing. I don't know if it has um, uh, iPhone support, you'd have to do your own research into that uh, topic. But one of the things that I found um, is that, uh, ooh, here we go, is that um, there are so many, so many uh, apps to make a keyboard of your phone for your computer but none of them, or at least most of none of them, uh, have custom remote making. So I found macro stuff for gaming and key press stuff for everything, and um, they were scary, weird websites, they were unsupported, like tons of weird shit, and then I found Unified Remote. Now, this costs $4 to get access to the custom remote aspects, um, but, you know, uh, I could buy a Bluetooth keypad for $30 that has its own batteries and is an another accessory that you have to screw around with, and those keypads aren't usually customizable anyways. So then you'd have to get some sort of software on your thing, yada yada, etc, etc tedious, expensive, and, you know, it may not even be feasible in the end. So this works for me uh, right now. And so you pull up Unified Remote on your thing. Um, I made a custom one called Photoshop Control. Um, and this is the, the keys. And I, um, I made this all manually. Um, it's still subject to change. Uh, because I have yet to start getting into a, a rhythm of um, development in regards to this. But uh, I'll just show you some of the stuff that I managed to, to muster with this. So um, just quickly before I do that, I also want to show you the other app that I have. Um, but first I will um, pull up. Oops. Here, let's just Photoshop. Okay. I don't know if you see this, but there's little circles when I click. So um, when I go and open recent, I'm just going to show you uh, a page that I was messing with. Okay, so it's super zoomed out. So I can click in, and it clicks in, um, and I can hold pan, and pan. Um, so it's it's already showing that it's actually quite cool what I can do. Um, here, let's look at Wolfgang's scary face that I drew. Um, so one of the problems that I have is if I accidentally touch it here, this is uh, Photoshop CS6, if I go like this, it immediately um, jumps up and to the left no matter what so there's there's the canvas there so if I pan I can pull it back in 
But, you know, let's say that, oh, Jesus. Let's say that I'm in the middle of this and I have my thing here and I click brush here because I can brush. So then I'm, I'm brushing here. Now I'm just going blah, 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 blah. And then I touch my hand to, oh, well, now it's all screwed up. So, you know, you don't want to be in the middle of drawing and every single 10, 15 strokes, you accidentally touch the screen and reset it to the top corner for some miserable, miserable reason. So what I ended up getting, I'm gonna add both uh, Unified Remote and this uh, link to the video, is, um, oh, come on. How likely are you to recommend Windows 10 to a friend or colleague? Not very likely if it's going to interrupt the middle of your fucking video. There we go. Um, where is it? Oh, is it not here? Of course it's not. I have it set to auto start up. Um, touch. Okay. Well. I guess I don't have to necessarily show it to you, but it's a little app that you just click and it toggles on and off in the start bar there. And what it does is it disables the touch screen um, for the tablet. And what you get to do then is when you go to do Photoshop, you can just quickly toggle it off and no amount of touching will do anything, which is great because I use a, a tablet that sits in your lap, so I'm never touching it anyways. Um, to do anything um, and uh, then you just use the pen like you would any other computer setup um, and you use this to be able to marquee and undo watch me undo all these guys here undo 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 oops undoing eraser uh, I don't know what I'm erasing here uh, There we go. Erasing his face, look at that. Oh, I see. There's the face layer. And there's the detail layer. Or I just have it on skin. Oh, I do have it on skin. And there you go. So uh, now you have full Photoshop control for illustration, um, including undo, marquee, move, save, save as, save for web. Um, brush eraser scaling of uh, of each one so I can make the brush really really big you know wow oh. I don't know what's going on here there we go um, and uh, all of that is within your grasp all in your phone um, so that saves you an exceptional amount of uh, expense when it comes to buying extra keyboards and extra all this and all that and of course it keeps it lean so you don't have a keyboard for the 25 buttons that you need to press you have uh, a little thing for the 25 buttons you need to press